Hey guys, Mike here with Wilderness Warriors. Picked up something over the uh, Thanksgiving holidays. Haven't had time to get out and play with it yet. There were some things I wanted to do to it first. Um, but what I did want to do is uh, pop a quick video real quick and show you what it is. Um, if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that I'm kind of a, a machete fan instead of a big knife fan. Uh, and what I picked up um, isn't really a knife. Um, it's not really a machete. What it is um, is a small brush axe and uh, it's not really an axe either. So what we have is the Fiskars brush axe, small brush axe. Um, let me flip this thing around real quick. It's not very expensive. Uh, runs right around 20 bucks. It's not very heavy. Um, it's got a good blade on it. Thickness is right at an eighth of an inch. Doesn't have a very sharp spine. I am going to fix that. Um, also, the edge itself um, is more of a, a working tool edge. It definitely is not very sharp. Uh, they put a hanging hole in there. Uh, has a hollow handle that is actually hollow up to about right here. Um, what I'm going to do is add a decent lanyard in there. Um, and shortly, I'm going to get some Wilson wrap and uh, wrap the handle. Uh, it is very slick. I don't want to be slinging this thing and have it get out of my hands. But I do like the fact that it is curved and has a point. Um, and the blade length that is flat right there is about seven inches, six and a half inches, somewhere right in there. Um, and honestly, that's about the most that I use with my machete. Uh, right in that curve, maybe the beginning area of that curve, is going to be the sweet spot of this thing as far as whacking limbs off with it. Um, so. First thing I'm going to do is uh, put this thing on my work sharp and put a really good edge on it. Uh, I'm going to clean up that spine with my belt sander and uh, get a lanyard on here. And then I'm going to play with this thing a little bit and uh, I'm going to try to take a couple of little video clips along the way to uh, put up with this. So please uh, leave comments and subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think. Appreciate it. All right, guys, pardon my junky garage. Um, but I'm a hoarder, whatever. All right, so playing with this thing in the camera screen here. First thing I'm going to do is take the little sticker off. Ah, oh, that bites. Hate it when that happens. All right, well, I'm just going to have to clean the blade up later then. Whatever. I'll sharpen it with it on there. Um, first thing I'm going to do is put it on my little belt sander here. Uh, let it do the primary work of uh, shaping that edge up. And going to go ahead and uh, create a spot that is nice and sharp on the spine itself. So, there we go. Alright guys, pardon my junky garage. Um, but I'm a hoarder. Whatever. All right, so playing with this thing in the camera screen here. First thing I'm going to do is take the little sticker off. Ah, oh, that bites. Hate it when that happens. All right, well, I'm just going to have to clean the blade up later then. So, whatever. I'll sharpen it with it on there. Um, first thing I'm going to do is put it on my little belt sander here. Uh, let it do the primary work of uh, shaping that edge up. And going to go ahead and uh, create a spot that is nice and sharp on the spine itself. So, here we go.
All right, so as we can see here, that is definitely changing the profile to a more convex. Um, got a much, much improved edge to it so far, and that was a pretty rough belt. I think that that uh, was somewhere in the 120 to 180 grit, maybe 180. I'll look when I pull it off and fix it, switch it out. Um, but you can see how it's still leaving some of the coating on in between the actual edge and the peak there. Um, that's not a big deal. Um, the hardest part I'm having problems with is is this point right here on it. For some reason, uh, their grinding on that was much uh, steeper and not close to the edge. So I'm having to remove quite a bit more material to actually get that down to a working edge. So I'm going to hit this once or twice more in that one spot, then I'm going to change out the belt to a much finer belt and see what I can do with this before I move over to the workshop. Well, that was a P80, so 80 grit. This one is a P400. All right, so we're doing pretty good there. Um, I'm really only concerned for a real sharp edge on this flat section here. Um, it gives us about six and a half inches there, looks like, I haven't put a ruler on it. Um, and then in this curve is gonna be taking the most of you, so I'm really not worried about it being super, super sharp. I don't need to need to shave with it or anything. But it would be nice if right up here, uh, I could be able to use it to make some feather sticks or something, because you can kind of choke up on it pretty good. Uh, just to get more purpose out of one tool. Um, so I forgot to do the spine, I'm gonna switch this belt back. in on that but as you can see uh, from about here all the way down took all the coating off squared that up it is pretty edgy right there so i think that'll do what i need it to do all right and from here i'm gonna head over and uh use the work sharp i'll be back all right so i've got my work sharp here i'm going to sharpen as much as i can i think on this one i can get around a little bit better than with a larger belt sander so let me back this up a little let's see what i can do here That's 
switch over hands on that one so I can do it from this side. Alright, this thing is probably as sharp as I want it to be. Um, you can still feel a little bit of burr, but like I said, this is a working tool, not a knife where I'm going to be doing carving. I'm going to be whacking limbs, probably missing occasionally, might be hitting a rock in the dirt. Uh, I mean, essentially, this is just a small machete, and so I'm going to use it like that. But I did want to get a decent enough edge in here that I can do feather sticks or something like that. Um, you know, tent pegs, whatever. So there you go. I'm going to clean this blade up and uh, get that sticker crap off of there, and uh, then I'll be back with you. Thanks. All right, guys, so I've got the sticker stuff scraped off. The edge feels pretty good for a tool. Um, this edge up here, um, I didn't do any stropping or anything to it. It is pretty darn sharp. And uh, so you see that it is definitely useful. Now, obviously, I can't go too far down. I wish I had like a, a block or something that was up because of that hook touching. Definitely sharp enough to make some feather sticks to procure a fire. I'm actually going to break that off, set that down right there. And then I'm going to take the spine. some up. And I don't know if that's enough, but we'll see. Woo. My uh, custom made handle on my six inch fire steel there. I've got a little over four inches out. Actually, I think that was a five inch. Got a little over a four inch rod and uh, just drilled out some oak and uh, epoxied it in. Works great. So, maybe not a typical uh, woodsman's tool, but definitely something from days gone by that uh, was useful on a farm. Uh, homestead, something like that, brush axe. Um, small, it's lightweight. Uh, I think it would work great for batoning, uh, smaller stuff. Uh, and with a couple of little modifications, as you see, it uh, is very handy to have. Um, I believe in the future I'm going to make a uh, Kydex sheath for it. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Like I said, I'm going to wrap the handle, put a lanyard on it, and I think that's going to be how I'm going to leave it and uh, carry it around in the woods a little bit and see how it works for me. Thanks for watching.